guys, it's Queen Bijan, and today's video I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Random Girlfriends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Okay. I mean, honey. This is so bad. Yeah, but out of all the places, you want to work here? <laughs> oh, God. That's so awkward. Uh, welcome to hell. <laughs> Please let Sumi make an appearance today. I beg you. We, like, the only appearance we've seen of her is in the opening. That's it. Opening and ending. And a figure of her that's going to be released. But that's it. That's it. That's how I felt. She, like, her voice, nothing. That's a little unfair because like, people are telling me I might like her. And I'm like, oh, where's she at? <laughs> The opening don't count. The ending don't count. Hell, I got I saw this like um it's a uh, picture and saying that like <laughs> whatever day you're born on for your month, whatever, for your zodiac, it's which girl you're compatible. And I'm a Libra. And it showed me to me. And I'm like, okay, where's she at? Like <laughs> it's just unfair. Ten episodes. Um, I mean, it has to be. That Twitter page is everything. No. Exactly. I mean, you're probably the reason of why he's so depressed and he's going, you know, sad boy on his Twitter page. Yeah, but still... At least she acknowledges that. Well, 
Well, you can save it. Probably at home, depressed. Well, I mean, it would be better for you to just have just the guys and not to really invite girlfriends, but it's up to you. No, I, I don't think... <laughs> Yeah, just have a guy's day. Hey, y'all with them. Oh, Kazu. No, don't leave. She just got here. No, no.
So you might as well just stay with her. Exactly. So just stay with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you find that one that you're really Hopefully he finds one because I really like him. I kind of like him more than Kazu. This is the only good thing Kazu did today for this episode. It's already been paid for. Bullshit.
also. Neon has the best style. I'm so good to see that ish. So, can could he be main character now, please? Yes, all right. <clears throat> You only want to make them happy. Oh, you want to go near? Oh, my God. Did you spend everything? <laughs> See, I don't think that's her. I think it's Ruka. Place in that table. It's not gonna be her. So me? It's so me for me.
Yeah, I mean, have you seen her? Spoken to her? Okay. Yeah, but we haven't seen her for weeks, though. So. Back here is fine. No one else knows but you two. <laughs> Freaking finally, the scroll is going to make an appearance. But in what, the last two episodes of this show? Y'all have me like too long for this. This girl better be worth it. I swear to God. Because even though we see her in the opening and ending, it doesn't count until we hear her voice and see her in action next week. Oh my God. But she's gonna, she's so cute and adorable and I love her. But, okay. What Kazu did for his friend was really, really, really sweet. Just a romance moment. I loved it so much. But like, oh, the fact that he asked her if Chizuru possibly has feelings or someone and how she was difficult to answer that question, but you can see it all over her face that, yes, she is in love with someone and it's freaking cousin. But I feel like if this show does get a second season, they'll go a little bit longer into stretching it and how she'll deny her feelings because who knows how long the manga did until they finally were like, hey, I like you because it's so obvious they both like each other. We both know that they like each other. It's just they need to now find it out for each other and for themselves. But I honestly cannot wait to see Sumi next week. I mean, mm, it's going to go good. Maybe. Maybe Mommy Chan might make an appearance next week too. Oh. Look at her. Oh. Okay, hold up. So you were literally telling me that mommy's been depressed or hiding out in her apartment for the last few weeks that we have not seen her? Okay, I mean, because it, it seems like the two people who are going to get the most focus on this episode coming up next week is Sumi and mommy. And honestly, really good because... Number one, we haven't seen mommy since you know her last episode that she was in. So you're wondering, like, yeah, where the hell did you go? Where have you been these past few weeks? And so since Sumi's also getting her first appearance and that they're sharing something together, but still, I mean, hopefully we get some answers on that. Maybe, you know we know the girl is jealous. God damn it, we know, because it's mommy for Christ's sake. But I mean Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to say this. Maybe she's getting back into her feelings of how she's maybe still loves or cares about Kazu. I mean, first it was to just get Mizuhada out of the way, but now it could be uh, maybe she's falling in love with him again. I don't know, but how can you fall in love with someone who you haven't seen? Falling back in love with someone who you haven't seen in a while. 
So I'm like, girl, what you doing? You on your Twitter, you know, raging with your rage tweets? Because, girl, you know, I do that too. And that's why I like you. <laughs> it's because, you know, she be telling it like it is. And when I'm pissed off or somebody's pissed me off or whatever, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go on here. And then there's always, like, that one person who asks me, is this tweet about me? And I'm like, no, it's not about you. It's about somebody else. Like, oh, my God, stop thinking into that context because it ain't always about you jesus it because it's so annoying and it, it's just like oh my god but like it because if we need a moment to vent let her vent because oh my god when she vents she's just like you know what fuck it i'm going to tell every little detail how i feel right now and i'm like yes bitch that is me i feel that on a personal level like oh my god mommy like mm, that is me in a nutshell when somebody pisses <laughs> me off or something pisses me off or if I don't have like the best day like I am just like I go off on Twitter. Twitter is one of those that I can just be like I can say everything and just be like oh, this is off right now. <laughs> but yeah I'm glad that mommy is officially coming back because it just felt so weird and off-putting to not have her in this show because you're like you're watching every single week and you're like damn where's mommy at and i know like not many people are like yeah i don't want mommy to come back because i don't like mommy and it's like that i didn't like her either at the beginning but until i got that episode where she was on twitter saying her ish i was like oh my god i think i like this girl a lot more than i did and i was like mm, i don't know if she's best girl for me she might be like second or third best girl but still like you gotta love her. It's it's Aoi Yuki, for Christ's sake. I don't think there's ever really been a character of Aoi Yuki that she's played that I hated. Except, like, this one. But now I love her now. She's... We the same. We similar. That's all. But yeah, this is a good episode. But I literally... This Sumi day, I just want to see Sumi now. Let's just... I mean, even though we got to see a little bit at the end of this episode. That don't count. So... Next Friday. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the episode 10 of Rinna Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my channel. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.